When the sky of Tepeyac opens its first thin stars and the dark comes down in an ink of Japanese blue above the bell towers of La Bas Basilica de Nostra Senora, above the plaza photographers and their souvenir backdrops of La Virgen de Guadalupe, above the balloon vendors and their balloon balloons uh, wearing paper hats, above the red canopied thrones of Shoe shine stands. Shoe shine stands? Are you talking about sh uh, stands that actually shine shoes? Above the wooden booths of the women frying lunch in vats of oil. Sounds kind of gross, unless you like KFC. Above the Tilapetera on the corner of Misteros Mist and Cinco de Mayo, when the photographers have toted up. Their tripods and big box cameras have rolled down away, have rolled away the wooden ponies I don't know where. When the balloon men have sold all but the ugliest balloons and heard the last few home, ah, balloons can be, these are the ugly balloons, poor balloons. When the shoeshine men have grown tired of squatting on their little wooden boxes, and the women frying lunch have finished packing dish dishes, tablecloth, pots in the big straw basket in which they came. Then Abuelito tells the boy with dusty hair, Arturo, Arturo, we are closed. Okay, so then we've got the, he tells the boy with dusty hair, Arturo, and that they are closed. And in crooked shoes and purple elbows, Arturo pulls down the, uh, with a pole the corrugated metal curtains. That, that is not what they meant by the iron curtain, guys. So yeah, the metal curtains. Uh, so yeah, Arturo pulls down the pole with congregated corrugated metal curtains. And then you've got Mysterios... Then on the other, Cinco de Mayo, an eyelid over each door before Abuelito tells him he can go. This is when I arrive, one shoe and then the next, over the sagging door stone. So yeah, this is when the narrator arrives. This is when she arrives um, over the sagging door. Ooh, you better fix that door. I don't think those are supposed to do that. Worn, uh, worn smooth in the middle from the hurakes, hurakes, hurakes of those who have come for tins of glue to have their scissors sharpened, who have asked for candles and cans of boot polish, a half kilo sack of nails, turpentine, blue specked spoons, paint brushes, photographic paper, a spool of picture wire, lamp oil, and string. Why do you need all of this stuff? Art supplies? Abuelito under a bad light bulb, under a ceiling, dusty with flies, puffs his cigar and counts uh, money soft and wrinkled as old Kleenex. Counts money soft and wrinkled as old Kleenex. Okay, so he counts money softly, as in quietly, and he is as wrinkled as an old, old Kleenex. Ouch, you're going to need some Viagra for that burn. Viagra? I don't even know what Viagra means. Uh, to the two people who watch this, comment below and let me know what Viagra is supposed to be. By then I will have probably looked it up, but uh, yeah. By the souvenir, uh, by the souvenir photographers, and their canvas, Recredo de uh, Tepeyac, backdrops. By the shoeshine men uh, sheltered beneath their fringed and canopied kingdoms. By the blessed vendors of the holy cards, rosaries, scapulars, little plastic outers. And by the good sisters who live in the convent across the street, counts and recounts in a whisper and puts the money in a paper sack we carry home. Why do you have a paper sack again? Um, 
So you've got the grandfather under a broken light bulb with uh, an old ceiling, uh, smoking, counting his uh, money softly, got burned by the narrator. Um, this was all money that was earned by the plaza women when they were serving the lunches that were described on the earlier page. Uh, by the souvenir photographers and their canvas recreo de Tepeyac backdrops. Okay, so, you know, they, the, um, I guess they're also making money, the photographers. By the blessed vendors of the holy cards, rosaries, scapulars, little, um, plastic outers. You know, by the good sisters who live in the convent across the street. So you've got good sisters who live in a convent. So I think this is some sort of church. So the narrator takes uh, her grandfather's hand, her abuelito's hand, fat and dimpled in the center like a valentine. Not sure what that means. Are, are you insulting Valentine's Day? And we walk past the basil basilica where each Sunday the, ab uh, the abuela uh, lights lights the candles for the soul of Abuelito. But he's still alive. But he's still alive! Past the very same spot where long ago Juan Diego brought down from the Curro Cerro the, mir the miracle that has drawn everyone except my Abuelito on their knees. Get on your knees! Show some respect! I I'm kidding. I again, I have no clue what is going on. Down the avenue, one block past the bright lights of the Sastera of Senor Guzman, who is still at work at his sewing machine. Past the candy store where I buy my milk and raisin gelatins. Past La Provincia Tortillera, where every afternoon, Los Maria and I are sent for the basket of lunchtime tortillas. Past the house of the window, Marquez, whose husband died last winter of a tumor the size of her little white fist. Past La Mun uh, Munezca's mother watering her famous dahlias with a pink rubber hose and a skinny string of water. To the house on La Fortuna, number 12. That has always been our house. Green iron gates that are barbecue and scroll like the initials of my name. Familiar wine and clang. Familiar lacework of ivory of ivy growing over and between, except for uh, for one small clean square uh, for the hand of the postman whose face I have never seen. Up the 22 steps we count out, uh, count out loud together. Uno, dos, wait, why are you counting? Let, let's go back a little bit. Um, green gates that are aberesque scrolled like the initials of my name. Familiar wine and clang. Familiar lace work of ivy growing over. Um... Let's see here. Except for the small clean square of uh, of a postman who the narrator never recognized the face of uh, or never saw the face of 22 steps. Oh, okay, so they're counting up to 22 the steps. How did I miss that the first time reading? I just, I guess I just kind of skipped over that part or was not paying attention. Uno, dos, tres. To the supper of, yeah, so they, they're going up the steps they're going to the supper of Supo del Fedio and Carne Giza. Uh, someone please tell me what those mean. So they go up to the supper and then to the glass of Cafe Con Leche. So the cafe with milk. Uh, shut the door against the mad paired voice of the abuela. Fall asleep as we always do with the television mumbling. The abuelito snoring and asleep. The grandchild, the one who will soon leave for that borrowed country. Are you talking about America? Or, I thought this took place in America. I am lost. 
the one he will not remember, the one he is least familiar with. Years later, when the house of La Fortuna number twelve is sold, corner of Misteros and Cinco de Mayo changes owners. So wait, 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 wait. So someone is leaving, and you know they're going to sell the house of La Fortuna. What is going on? I still have no clue what is going on. Uh, changes owners when the courtyard gate of ab Aberesks and scrolls is taken off its off its hinges and replaced with a corrugated sheet metal door instead. When the widow Marquez and La Munca's mother. Move away when Abuelito falls asleep one last time. Oh no, he's not going to die, is he? Ventisinco, blah blah blah, more counting. Years afterward, when I return to the shop on the corner of Mysterios and Cinco de Mayo, um, so years later, when I when I return to the shop. Uh, repainted and redone as a pharmacy to the bas basilica that is crumbling and closed to the plaza photographers, the balloon vendors, and shoe shine thrones. The women whose faces I do not recognize serving lunch on the one in booths to the house on La Fortuna, number 12, smaller and darker than when we lived there with the rooms boarded shut and rented to the strangers, the streets suddenly dizzy with automobiles and diesel fumes, the house fronts scuffed and gardens fade, the children who played kickball all grown and moved away. Did you just rhyme? But yes, so apparently there's a La Fortuna house, and who would have guessed after all this time, it is me who... Will remember every, who will remember when everything else is forgotten, who took with you uh, to your stone bed something irretrievable, without a name. So the narrator is what is the narrator all grown up or something? Oh wait, that that is it. Okay, I am at page twenty three, and I still ha and I am already lost. Help me, Spark Notes. Help me. Help me!